The Cognitech TriSuite software package includes Cognitech Video Investigator, Cognitech Video Active, and Cognitech Auto Measure. Video Active is Cognitech's real time video processing platform for professional video acquisition, analysis, and processing. One of Video Active's primary functions, Demultiplex, will be covered in this interactive tutorial. Welcome to the Cognitech Video Active Demultiplex tutorial. This interactive tutorial will focus on demultiplexing video from a file or a live source. Click Go to begin. A multiplexer is a device used in analog security systems that allows multiple cameras to be captured at once. Demultiplexing is the process of sorting the individual camera channels that have been mixed together by a multiplexer. Cognitech pioneered the technique of automatic demultiplexing with its patented method of accurately grouping frames from a multiplex source. Cognitech developed a highly accurate method of demultiplexing in 2001. In 2005, Cognitech listened to user feedback and introduced automatic demultiplexing. Today, Cognitech continues to lead the industry in both demultiplex accuracy and speed. Video can be demultiplexed in real time from a file or from a live video source. Demultiplexing can be used in many different applications. Cognitech Video Active provides a modular design, allowing components to be connected in many different ways for complete customization. This simple configuration reads a file, demultiplexes it, and displays it. No output is saved. This is a good configuration for playing back demultiplex tape and determining what content should be captured. This configuration reads a file, demultiplexes it, displays it, and records the demultiplex results to user-defined file. This is a good configuration for demultiplexing multiplex video that has already been digitized. This configuration is the same as the previous configuration, except we have added another renderer that displays the multiplex video prior to processing. The second renderer module provides a display of the original video, but will not affect the processing of the video. This configuration is the same as the previous configuration, except the video source has been replaced with a capture card source. This configuration can be used to demultiplex video directly from a live source, eliminating the need to capture the multiplex video in a separate step. This configuration is the same as the previous configuration, except we added a second file writer, allowing multiplex and demultiplex video to be captured simultaneously, in real time. Demultiplexing from a live source can also be done in two separate configurations. The multiplex video is first captured, and then the video is demultiplexed. In Video Active, commonly used configurations can be found in the Configurations menu. You can see here the configurations are organized by their source modules. We will now start our own configuration by opening the Configurations menu. Open the Cogni USB source category. Select the Demultiplex configuration. Select the Automatic Track Detection method. This method will automatically determine the separate tracks in the multiplex video. Click OK. Notice how the video is demultiplexed, with each unique scene separated into different channels in real time. Click the Configuration Builder. Here you can see the configuration that was chosen. Click the File Writer module to see its parameters. Click Select Channels to select which frames to capture. Here are the available tracks. We want to capture all the tracks in the video. Select Channel 2. Select Channel 3. Select Channel 4. Select channel 5. Select channel 6. 
Select channel 7. Select channel 8. Select channel 9. Select channel 10. Select channel 11. Select channel 12. Select channel 13. Select channel 14. Select channel 15. Select channel 16. Click OK. Click Set to lock the settings and prepare for recording. Click Record to start capturing video. Click Stop to end the video capture. Click the Stop button at the icon toolbar to stop the configuration. The Configurations menu provides an easy way to create standard configurations. Manual configurations allow the user to combine modules in the Configuration Builder to make user customized configurations. We will demultiplex video in this example using two separate configurations. The first configuration captures the video from the live source. The second configuration demultiplexes the captured video. Here the demultiplex video has already been captured using the simple video capture configuration. The demultiplex configuration has two parallel paths, preview and demultiplex. The preview path displays the video prior to demultiplex processing. The file reader module reads video from a captured video file. This renderer module is displaying the unprocessed captured video file. The demultiplex path separates the demultiplex video into individual channels, displays a live video preview, and provides file writing capabilities. The file reader plays the same capture video file for the demultiplex path. The demultiplexer separates streams from multiplex video so that each channel can be separately identified and processed. This renderer displays the captured video file in separate channels designated by the demultiplexer. This file writer allows the demultiplex channels to be captured. Together, these two paths allow the user to see video before and after processing simultaneously. The demultiplex wizard provides several demultiplex options. Automatic detection automatically detects the number of tracks and matches all frames to the detected tracks. Auto manual detection automatically detects the number of tracks, but then allows the user to adjust the tracks found before demultiplexing the video. Manual detection allows the user to manually determine what tracks are present in the video. Fixed detection automatically matches all frames to the user defined number of tracks. Demultiplex video is viewed in the Demultiplex view window. The renderer parameters can be used to customize the viewing of individual cameras. File writer channel selection allows us the user to choose which tracks to save. File writer advanced properties allows the user to save the demultiplex video in a single video or separate videos. Adding a module to a configuration can be done by double clicking the module in the module list. Double click file reader. Add the demultiplexer module. Add the renderer module. Add the file writer module. Add a second renderer module. Now that modules have been added, 
they need to be connected with the data connection tool. Select the data connection tool from the toolbox. Data connections are made with the data connection tool by clicking the modules. Click the file reader module to start a connection. Click the demultiplexer module to complete the data connection. A data connection has been made between the file writer and the demultiplexer. Click the demultiplexer module again to start a new data connection. Click the renderer to complete the data connection. A data connection has been made between the demultiplexer and the renderer. Click the renderer module again to start a new data connection. Click the file writer to complete the data connection. A data connection has been made between the renderer and the file writer. Click the file reader module again to start a new data connection. Click the renderer to complete the data connection. This configuration has been fully connected with two parallel paths allowing the user to view the video before and after processing as well as capture the processed result. Click run to run the configuration. This file contains the captured multiplex video. Click open to open the file. Select the automatic track detection method. This method will automatically determine the separate tracks in the multiplex video. Click OK to start the demultiplexing process. Notice how the video is demultiplexed, with each unique scene separated into different channels in real time. Open the renderer parameters. Each channel can be viewed independently in real time with the Zoom In tool. Click the Zoom In tool. Click on any of the tracks to expand the view. Click Zoom Reset to return. Select any additional tracks you would like to look at, or click Continue to move on. Click Zoom Reset to return. Select any additional tracks you would like to look at, or click Continue to move on. Click Zoom Reset to return. Select any additional tracks you would like to look at, or click Continue to move on. Channels can also be further examined with the Zoom tool. Zoom in on track 6. Clicking the window again will zoom further. Click in one more time to zoom in further. As you can see, the Zoom tool can be used to better view content in the demultiplex video. Click Zoom Reset to return. Close the Renderer Parameter window. Click the File Writer icon to open the File Writer Parameters window. Open the Browse window to set the saved location and file name. Click Save to set the saved location and file name. Click Select Channels to select which channels to save. Selected channels will be included in the file writer output. Select channel 2. Select channel 3. Select channel 4. Select channel 5. Select channel 6. Select channel 7. Select channel 8. Select channel 9. Select channel 10. Select channel 11. Select channel 12. Select channel 13. Select channel 14. Select channel 15. Select channel 16. Click OK. Click 
click the Advanced Settings window. Advanced File Writer Settings allows the user to adjust the number of frames to capture and determine how a demultiplex video will be saved. By default, demultiplex channels are saved as a single unified file, but selecting the Use Multiple Files option saves each channel as an independent file. Click the Use Multiple Files checkbox to save each channel in an independent file. Click OK. Click Set to lock the settings and prepare for recording. Click Record to start capturing video. Click Stop to end the video capture. Click the Stop button on the icon toolbar to stop the configuration. Saving the demultiplex channels in one file can be useful for keeping the channels together and for further analysis in Cognitech Video Investigator. Click Continue to see how. Unified demultiplex video can be opened in Windows Media Player with the help of the COG player in either the original multiplexed order or the demultiplexed order. Unified demultiplex video can be further edited in Video Investigator's Video Scene Investigator without losing the track information. You have now successfully demultiplexed a video with Cognitech Video Active. Try utilizing Video Active with multiplexed evidence today and see how easy it is. If you would like to return to the beginning, click Restart Course. For sales or technical questions, contact us at sales at cognitech.com or tech support at cognitech.com or visit us at www.cognitech.com.